Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be discussing my interview experience with Amazon for SD2 role. Now, a disclaimer before actually moving on to the discussion. I was not able to clear the interviews. My offer was downgraded and the recruiter offered me a SD1 offer rather than the SD2 offer. But my but since my current salary is greater than the SD1 compensation band in Amazon, so it was a no go for me. But even though I was not able to get the offer, I decided to make this video because I learned a lot of important things from this experience and those things actually helped me in clearing other interview processes. So this was actually a while back and I interviewed with few other companies also after this process. So those learnings came in really handy. So probably what I'll do is that I'll make a heading learning. And I'll probably jot down each learning as we discuss them. So that'll be, I think, helpful for everyone. Right. So let's get started with the discussion. Uh, so everyone knows that it is not difficult to get an interview for the SD2 role at Amazon. Amazon recruiters have been sending SD2 recruitment messages on LinkedIn to everyone from college freshers to CTOs. So I also received a bunch of messages on LinkedIn and after a while I thought let's give it a shot. So first step of the process was an online test. The test had three parts, DSA question, a work simulation and a questionnaire about your personality traits. So the test was pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, after the online test came the interviews. So since I was not actually keen on switching at that time, so I did not do any kind of preparation even for one day before the interview. Now this was the first mistake. So the learning here was to never go for an interview without preparation. Because interviews are not just about knowing stuff, but also about how you manage your time and also communicate your thoughts in the given limited time. So practice helps a lot in building up the temperament for interviews. So yeah, don't never go for an interview without any preparation. So I guess the first learning was always go prepared. So in Amazon, in each round, you get a leadership principle related question before the tech question. And this question is kind of a behavioral question. So search for Amazon leadership principles and go through all these principles once. And these are pretty standard behavioral questions. So I think you'll be able to handle this part. Now moving on to the technical part in the interviews. So my first interview round was a coding round. I got standard DSA questions copy pasted from Geeks for Geeks. Um, I'm not able to recall the exact questions because as I said, this was a while back. But I remember one question was based on trees and the other was on DP. So this round actually went well for me and I was able to solve both the questions. Actually, I had not seen these questions before. So I took a little extra time in the trees question. Uh, but the feedback was positive. The overall feedback for this round was positive. Now my second round was a LLD round and I had to design a system for snakes and ladders. I clarified all the requirements and began designing the system. But since I had no prior practice, I started spending a lot of time on things that were not the focus. So the requirements were pretty clear, but I started making such a flexible and extensible system so that all the weird requirements could be satisfied if needed in the future. But the issue was the recruiter wanted a simple snakes and ladder and he never said that these weird requirements needed to be handled. So what I was doing was I was coming up with these possibilities on my own and then handling them. And also I applied every design pattern I knew. And all of this led to a system that was an overkill and really complicated. Now this was the second biggest mistake and the worst one actually. So in system design, never try to include things that have not been asked by the recruiter. Strictly stick to the requirements laid down by the recruiter because following requirements is one of the most important step in your actual job. So, and also try to create the simplest possible system covering all the requirements. Never ever create an over complicated system design. So, so as expected, the feedback I got in this round was that my requirements collection and thought process was very strong, but I did not follow the requirements and I created an over complicated system.
so i got a no higher in this round so i guess from this round i had two learnings and i'll just note them follow the requirements and don't over complicate now usually in amazon you have two coding rounds and one hld or lld round but for me since i got no higher in lld round my third round was also system design but it was a hld round instead of low level design so i was asked to create a logging system now i don't exactly remember the details now this round actually went well in my opinion but i got a weak higher in this round for some reason um so i don't know what was the reason for that weak higher now since i was not able to get any strong higher in system design and system design is most important for getting sd2 role in amazon so therefore my offer was downgraded to sd1 role and this pretty much summarizes my complete interview experience and i hope these learnings will come in handy for you and you will not make the same mistakes as i did now if you have any questions related to uh, how to apply in amazon or preparations or maybe the interview process just uh, drop a comment in the comment section and i'll try to answer your queries that being said i think we can end this video here so take care guys and keep learning thank you